Hello all, we continue our lecture series on Java programming using AWT and in this video lecture we are going to see how Java AWT facilitates GUI programming that works with forms. Java hides the details of forms using a separate class called the font itself and uh, every font has got three details the first is the family name the second is the logical name and the third is the face name the family name shows the general name of the font something like a courier or times new roman and uh, logical name gives the category of the font uh, an example is monospaced and finally, we have the face name which gives the actual font itself, something like Courier Italic. In AWT, the font class has got four different members. The first is the name, second is the point size, third is size and finally there is type. Uh, the variable name represents the name of the font, something like uh, Courier. Uh, we have point size and size both representing the uh, size of the font in points but the first one is uh, uh, a float variable and the latter is an integer variable and finally we have style which shows the style of the font something like uh, uh, whether the font is in italics or is in a bold or is simply plain There is a special class in Java AWT that worth mentioning. Uh, the name of the class is Graphics Environment and uh, it specifies the graphics environment under which the font is accessed. The resources can be local or in a remote machine and uh, this Graphics Environment class contains a number of font objects and it is using this graphics environment class that uh, we operate uh, different operations on the available fonts. Now let's try an application. Uh, what we plan to do is to write a Java program to get the names of all the available fonts in the system. Finally. Uh, we will modify the result in such a way that uh, the result display will be converted to bold using an available font. This is the program that we make. Uh, as usual we have made an applet and the name of the applet is font demo and we have specified other parameters like width and height of the applet and uh, this is the class font demo uh, in which we develop the operations what we want to do is uh, to get the names of all the available fonts in our system and uh, as we are planning to show the names of all these fonts in a GUI window uh, we make the necessary changes in uh, uh, the method called paint and uh, this is uh, the graphics environment class that uh, we have made an object of graphics environment and the name of the object is GE and uh, what we want to procure is the local graphics environment that is why uh, we call the static method of graphics environment as graphics environment dot get local graphics environment and uh, this graphics environment is able to provide the list of fonts uh, available in the local machine uh, using the method get available font family names we capture these available font family names in a string array uh, called font list and finally we display uh, this font list uh, by adding a comma in between two font names. So this is the program and uh, let's try executing this one.
java c phone demo dot java so it compiled successfully let's uh, uh, execute it using applet viewer so when this is executed uh, we can see that uh, there are a number of fonts uh, actually all the fonts are not displayed on this applet window because the uh, number of fonts available in the system is quite large and the names uh, go beyond the width of this uh, applet window uh, still we can see that uh, uh, the available fonts are displayed uh, and these fonts are separated by a comma now let's go to the second part of our program let's close this applet window what we want to do is uh, we uh, show these fonts uh, using one of the available fonts uh, maybe in a bold manner uh, so what we what we do is we make an object of the font class we make an object here that is font maybe f assigns new font and uh, we need to provide three different parameters the first is the name of the font and uh, second is the uh, style of the font whether it has to be plain or in italics or in bold and finally we want to show the size uh, size of the font in points uh, uh, let's uh, show the result in the first available font in the system so what we give is uh, font list of zero so this one gives the first available font in the system uh, then we want to show it in bold so we give it like a font dot bold and uh, we want to provide the size of the font also we want to show it in a bigger show it as a bigger message so we give the size as maybe 24 and finally we want to make sure that the displayed string uh, uses this font so we use the set font g dot set font yeah so now compile and execute this program okay that compiles successfully now let's call the applet viewer yeah you can see that the font of the message has been changed and uh, the size also has been changed and finally the string is displayed in a uh, bold manner so hope you enjoyed this video today's video lecture is a very short one and uh, we will come back with a new topic uh, in the next class.